Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a DIY frame, picture frame video um, is what I think I'm going to title it anyway. Um, but yeah, I had showed these in my previous vlog. Um, so these pieces of wood that my dad cut for me, I'm just going to stain them here quick. But I will take you guys along and do some voiceover probably. Um, so yeah. Um, if you are new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to leave me a comment and any video suggestions that you have. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into this video, and I'm really excited to see how these turn out. Okay guys, so the first thing that I went ahead and did here was just lay all of my pieces of wood out. Um, I had, it was about 16 or so. Um, and I just laid them all on this board to keep them off the ground um, so it wouldn't get like dirt on the wood. Um, and then I just went ahead and started staining them as you guys can see. Um, very simple, very easy project here. do the other side they're starting to dry but I'm gonna let them dry a little bit more and I had to do this today because it's supposed to rain okay so as I was saying um, it was supposed to rain um, later on that week um, my phone did something odd so yeah I cut off but anyway um, I went ahead and did the second coat really quick here because uh, yeah it was just I didn't want to come back out, it was a super hot day, so I just went ahead and did them the second time here and it was perfectly fine, it didn't stick, so good note there. Alrighty, so on to this next DIY project, um, I decided I would just add this in here um, as a quick little thing. Um, but. I was trying to make a DIY journal for um, an assignment that we had um, a couple of us in our Bible study group um, and I decided to go a little extra and make a journal. Um, I have done this in the past but um, I did it again and I'm not necessarily going to share what I did um, because it was kind of a fail. Um, I still do like it um, but the tutorial that I found just wasn't good and the lady, I don't know if she knew what she was doing but um, hers looked his did look better than mine, so yeah, um, mine was just kind of put together, um, and I'm still not quite finished with it, um, but yeah, I just thought I would add that in here because everything doesn't turn out exactly how we think, um, and so yeah, I was just kind of winging it here, and I was enjoying it. I will try to explain a little bit as to what I did here. Um, I just kind of wrapped some twine around the turny part of the notebook. Um, this used to be a devotional for couples, but um, my mom was getting rid of it, so I just took it and took all of the insides out um, and just took the outside of it um, and used it as the cover. So um, yeah, I just kind of wrapped some twine around it and then put an extra piece of twine, as you can see. Um, to just kind of shelf the pieces of paper in through it. Um, and here is just like um, some normal printing paper and I just 
folded it in half. Um, so that's the size of this. Um, and then as I did this, I realized it wasn't working very well, so having difficulties. But what I did inside of the paper is just made three notches. I only needed two, so I only put it to like the top and the bottom notch, um, the twine. So yeah, that is what I'm doing here, and I like it, it's alright, and I'm really enjoying it though for writing notes to God every single morning. Alrighty, and back to the picture frames. Here I am just taking off the little um, frayed pieces of wood um, that happened when we cut it. So yeah, I was just taking it off real quick because it looked kind of bad with it like on there. I knew it was going to have to do it, so it wasn't really difficult at all. Um, I just got some scissors and cut the ends off if I needed to, um, and then sometimes use my fingers. Um, but yeah, it was super easy to do this. Um, and I really hope you guys can try this project um, if you want some picture frames because they turned out really really well um, and then here I was just kind of framing it off seeing if it would work and everything um, a little bit stressful because I did use wood glue because yeah my dad wasn't home and I wanted them done so I just used wood glue when um, I should have used like staples or something but anyway um, these are just like paintings that I painted oh a while ago a few months ago um, so yeah I was really excited to finally get these up on the wall but um, here I'm just putting the glue on the ends, not the sides, of the wood and then gluing it together and just putting like a bunch of different random heavier objects onto it to try to get it to stick and stay flat as I wanted to. Um, and this project did take about four or five days. It wouldn't have to take this long but I was kind of procrastinating a tiny bit and the glue did take a while to dry so it took about four days to do hence the different outfits. And a completely off-topic thing that I wanted to add in here really quick is tell me if this voiceover sounds clear and a little bit different. Um, my parents were at like a bat and den. I don't know if you guys know what that is. I will hopefully explain this more in like a vlog or something. But yeah, they found this voiceover mic for two dollars. So they bought me two of them and that's what I'm working with right now and I'm so happy with how it sounds and I think it sounds a lot crispier and clearer and also it's so much easier to use. So definitely let me know down in the comments if you can tell a difference between this voiceover and my last voiceover. Um, I would definitely be excited to see if you guys could tell um, and yeah just go ahead and leave that down in the comments. <laughs> And this is what it looked like when they were done. I did try it a different way. This way was much quicker, so I just did like the long side and the short side together, and then I just went ahead and um, glued all four sides together, if that makes any sense. 
Um, and then I just try to get these unstuck from my desk. I still have a little bit of glue on my desk, um, which I really need to get off. Um, but yeah, this turned out great and this way was much easier. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you. And if you're going to try these, definitely try it this way first. Um, I definitely think it was easier. And yeah, I was able to get all three of the rest on my desk at one time. So it only like did the rest of the night. And here is what they look like. I'm so excited and just so happy the way they turned out. I think it was definitely a good idea to do this. Um, and it's really just a neat artsy piece in my room. Um, so here I'm just trying to frame this off and figure out how I want to do it. I honestly did it the not cheater way, just the easy way when you don't have your dad home and you don't know what to do. So I just got some scratch tape and taped it to the the back here and it worked just fine so yeah if you guys don't know what to do tape works fine and it's also extremely cheap so um i thought i would mention also that this project was probably like 50 cents to a dollar um but anyway the next day um yes i'm wearing that same dress i washed it don't worry um my laundry day was the day before this day and yeah i just um washed it so anyway as you can see, I really had no idea what I was doing, so I had to get some help from my sisters um, because, yeah, I didn't really know how to figure out how to do this, get it even with the bed and everything. Um, so yeah, I did it, it was in the middle of the wall, and then I did the picture frames about two inches apart, and then um, vertically, I did about an inch or two apart. I can't exactly remember, but obviously it's your preference as to how far you want these picture frames apart. And here's the end result of the picture frames. I'm so happy with how they turned out, like I've said so many times. Um, but what I did for the screws is just put black permanent marker over them and it looks fine. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. And I will see you guys very shortly in a brand new video. God bless you guys.